Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we're talking to you from one of the special venues in European football, the San Siro, here in the city of Milan. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. I'm greatly looking forward to bringing you live coverage of this match being played in Serie A. It's Milan, and they take on Torino. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Clean challenge. Here's the Milan team. Well, on paper, it's down as a 4-5-1, but for me, it's more likely to be a split midfield with three supports in the front man and two... Oh, wait a minute, Stuart. Look what's happening. In it goes! An early opening statement in this match. And look at the celebrations. 1-0 then. Chukwese. It's a promising Milan move. And let's give credit to the defending. Just wasn't going to part with the ball. Benassa. Linetti. And it's with Sanabria. And a struggle for Torino to keep possession of it. Chukwese. Could be. An important challenge, but they must remain organized. <laughs> Determined defending. Chukwese. The Rossoneri pushing forward with options available. Pulisic. Pulisic! It's still alive! And cleared away. And Pulisic has it. The fans want to see a shot. And it's in! All square again! What a match this is turning out to be! Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Linetti... And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Chukwese. On to Loftus-Cheek. Well, the goalkeeper making a big contribution and denying him another one. Well, it's another chance for him. As you said, he looks so hungry for goals today. And there it is! Two goals in a matter of minutes. Incredible stuff. as they kick off again 2-1 the current state of affairs Antonio Sanabria not a good pass Pulisic well the stoppage time situation one minute here Davide Calabria cross fired over And the first half is in the history books here at the Meazza. Well, no complaints as regards Luka Jovic and what he put into the first half. Sum it up for us. Well, he certainly had an impact on that first half.
Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Good use of advantage there. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Well, not troubling the goalkeeper at all there. And from that sort of distance, you should be troubling the goalkeeper. Technique let him down there. And time for the change now. And Milan looking dangerous. Oh, big opportunity. Wonderful block. Oh, it's in. A two-goal cushion now and the lead fully merited well here it is again and it's really poor defending they just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block which is why the balls ended up in the back of their net Well, the action continues, and no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. Samuele Ricci. Useful looking position, you've got to say. But they took care of the situation defensively. Morata. On the ball, Chukwese. Loftus-Cheek. Fine use of the ball. Superb looking pass. That was going in. And Milan have the ball once more. Loftus cheek. Leal. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. And they will make the change now. And a substitution in the offing. Giving it a try. Oh, body in the way, crucially. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. A very good tackle. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? That is how to keep it out of the net. Voivoda. Good work from Milan to win it back. Can he make it count? My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. So making the substitution now. Just too much height on that one. Close shave, though. And well, we've entered the final five minutes. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. And continues his run. It's got to be. In it goes to rubber stamp it once and for all.
Well, here it is. Head down, hit through the ball and get it on target. That's a top-class finish. There was no stopping that. Too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. And so the referee blows the whistle. That is the end of the game. And Milan victorious. What did you think of their performance, all told? Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him.